Hello, this is a foxy gameplay that one done level that white uh, won quite convincing by resignation. This was a little bit uh, more wild than the usual games played in the leaks. So let's check it out. First of all, uh, we have a diagonal Fuseki, so obviously this will lead to a more fighting game. Black attacks here, uh, it's fine, but usually black should think about attacking the Komoku, so either R15 or Q15, because for white it's very easy to make a Shimari and enclose a corner in one move when he's got a Komoku. Also, on the bottom side, it's interesting to attack at F3 and go for a mini Chinese formation or attack the corner then take a Shimari. Usually for black when he goes for diagonal Fuseki, he can think about taking one of the Shimaris right away. But to attack the, the corner that can enclose in one move the Shimari, it's uh, always a high priority. And then think about his own Shimari or other attacks like Sun Sun Evasion or whatnot. But anyway, black decided to play C6 and white attacks right away. This is nice. White uh, is going for an aggressive uh, approach in the opening. So black played the one space high pincer and things got already a little bit tricky and complicated here for black. So white attaches in the corner and this is what uh, the AI suggests too. But in general, white can play a one space jump and after black uh, extends on the right, then attach in the corner. So this would be like an old school variation, pull back, uh, black defends the corner with an eye shape, then white plays the attach, cross cut, and now the most common joseki is like this. So both black and white fix the corner, white gets a very thick formation, black gets to extend for a base, and here white should protect the lower left corner too. And it's uh, pretty common to play f4 instead of e3, because when e3, black will slide, and white's formation is over-concentrated in the lower left corner. It's a bit painful to leave like that. So that can be an option, but actually it's nothing wrong to play R3 because the expected follow-up here is white pulls back, black goes for S5, then when white jumps to separate black groups, uh, black usually goes out with Q7, so black is no longer going to play R6 here, uh, white, uh, black is trying to get ahead, so several uh, pushes from behind, black is ahead on the forward line, so black gets all this territory on the right side, but that's not a problem for white, because what white wants to do, it's uh, get a wall and then counter pincer. So overall, it's, uh, it's still nice for white, because it weakens the N4, and it's going to set up a nice moy on the bottom side. So that's why um, the AI likes to play R3 and pull back. But white has to consider one space jump or even O game. So another common joseki when you play the one space jump and attach is to pincer. So you just attach one time because the idea in the corner when you attach is that if black captures a stone, he's going to uh, invest too many moves in this corner. And again, you go for the outside end for this N4. And if uh, black doesn't capture the stone right away, which can also happen very often, after the pincer, usually black will come out here with Kosumi to make sure white doesn't connect under that N3. But white is not going to use N3 directly. White can go Q4 then sacrifice a stone in the corner with a double Hane and then just connect under by playing Keima because now the Kosumi doesn't separate anymore. So that's why white has to wait because if white pulls back here and black defends and now white tries to connect under this way, black will Kosumi, push and cut. So all these details are important and it's good to know them, especially for Joseki and Fuseki uh, knowledge. So now we have this kind of pattern and black went down in the corner, which is wrong. So black should either S5, or if he wants to speed up the Fuseki, R6, and then extend again R9. But S5 is uh, the best, because it keeps some pressure on uh, white as well. When black goes S3, white is very happy to clamp R5, so now black is punished. Now on this Hane, uh, the reflex is to play Atari, but it's slightly better to go Nobi. Because anyway, black is not going to push here and accept this Atari. It's super painful. And then you got to take two stones, which is also painful, and white extends. So black invested too many stones in the corner just to kill two. Now, the point is, if white plays the target here, white obviously expects that black will always connect. But there's a chance that black will counter Atari. So this shows more fighting speed. And now when white captures a stone, black will Atari under to connect. And if white connects here, black makes a nice uh, tiger mouse shape, and white is uh, already in a 
very over concentrated situation. This is a dumpling formation, something to avoid. Now, if white tries to fight the core, it's too early, it's the, uh, the Fuseki, so black will capture stone, and all of a sudden white is in Atari. There are no core threats, no matter what you play, black will just shut his eyes and capture again. And if you connect here, black again will take the stone on the side. Then Atari from the outside, he can connect, Atari here he captures, so in the end, white will still end up with a cluster of stones. That's no good. So black could play with fighting spirit, a counter Atari, therefore, it's slightly better just to Nobi. And after black plays another Nobi, then you can Atari. Or simply Nobi again. For the same reason. So once you play Atari here, which is like most of the time, you expect black to defend, and he did in this case. But if you play a stronger player, you might consider a way to uh, fight back. So black defends, white extends, black turns. Actually, he can push one more time. In Sente, this group is already alive, there is nothing to threaten, and then extend on the bottom. But if he plays here, of course, why can't think about the pincer? Because obviously the corner is alive anyway, so it's no point for uh, white to block here and allow the extension on the bottom. Or maybe a double approach and then extend on the bottom. <clears throat> so white pincers, very good. Black tries to, oh, double approach, yeah, okay. So come out, that's fine. Go in the corner. This is all good and all forced. And pincer. This looks excellent for white. So white right now, it's like 90% to win the game. Because on the bottom, these two stones, they are completely uh, wasted somehow. I mean, they are going to run or just die inside. So white got a lot of profit and black simply leaving the corner with five points. That's painful. So this is like end game, but okay, it's fine. Uh, that helps uh, white more than black. Black should think about shoulder hits here. Push, push again then cover, Atari, and a hanging connection. This might even force white come back to protect and then jump out. So this will erase the bottom oil uh, in the process. Mm, this kick just makes uh, black heavy. So for sure black will lose this F3 stone and a lot of surrounding territory for white will come. Then now black was supposed to jump out. So here black missed a chance to uh, get a better tactic. Actually, white should just play the Kosumi. Then if black tries to connect here, push an Atari from above. If black tries this kind of move, you can push once here, then push this way. When he connects up, you cut down. When he connects down, you cut up. Either way, it's fine. But playing like this, it was a little bit risky. So clamp, again, white should go up and then cut. Because when white went down, black can use the snapback. So black covers, white plays Atari. Obviously, white is thinking, okay, we can capture this P2 and that's it. But if black goes Atari N1, <clears throat> it's done. This is a snapback, so black is all connected. All of a sudden, for a position, uh, from a position where white looks so um, nice and ahead, uh, black can capture some stones and turn the tables around. Because if you play P1, it's a snapback, black will capture P2. So that would be a big fail. But black failed too. And he played R1 instead. Hmm. Quite surprising. At one level on Fox, you miss this snapback, which is a tactic you learn when you are 20Q. But well, it happens. <clears throat> now Atari, very good. And this Atari actually still leads to a co-fight. I mean, black can play N1, and now it's a snapback, but it's going to be a co as well. So white has, uh, sorry, black has this kind of co-threat. And if white fills, then black will catch two stones. So he saves the bottom. In Sente, it's not too bad compared to the actual game. But black played here, white captures the core, black connects, and white blocks. Here, white can actually go up because the Hane is quite annoying. If black uh, turns, you have the Kosumi and surround, so the group is still under attack. But of course, black can always capture here, then jump out and run pretty much like in the game. The block is okay too. This capture is always uh, black Sente, then Hane to fight a little bit which happened, go up, and then some eye shape. Now here, why should do the same? Take the eye shape at P6. This is a very annoying spot for um, white if black takes it pretty soon. The turn is not center, but in the game it was, somehow. I mean, the group is already alive. So right now, uh, black can play this move, and white is forced to make an empty triangle, or peep first, and then protect. But then black turns, and you gotta extend on the side. <clears throat> so Hane, he's threatening the cuts and so on. Cut back, that's fighting spirit, very good. Then Nobi, 
Obviously, white has to protect against the cut, but the defense should be this one instead of solid. The thing with this move is that black can push and cut, and now it still threatens the double Atari. So white has to go down, and black can capture a stone in a ladder. So it gives black a better eye shape in the middle. But black went down. That was a very surprising move. First of all, white play here. I mean, let's say black plays this, this, and then jump, and some other move, push and cut, and all this sequence. If white tries to kill the corner, white has to play either Hane or the 1-1 one, one point. But black goes down, white pushes, black blocks. So those are two eyes. And when white plays Hane, black will just play T1. When white pushes, black blocks. So there are two eyes here as well. Therefore, playing down at T5 is like saying pass or just take one point. I mean here, black should go on a counter-attack. So that feels good for white. Uh, white can play a move to uh, induce the jump in the center and also to protect against P6 which is 07 because 07 it's a key point trying to surround the, the bottom group so therefore black should go up then white goes up black pushes again white goes up again and this group is on the run and the two stones are getting weaker in the center so that's a good inducing and when black plays here you just pull back black pushes again you block it's also possible to block here and then give up the stone with Atari and jump because this Atari is not a problem you can just connect and save everything so this kind of move it's a counter uh, to prevent the jump at p6 and if you just play p6 would be a little bit slack but playing a move like this uh, it's a, an active defense because you're also attacking his group so came out to attack those stones in the middle make the profit uh, it's natural to play a honey here but again you can think about this vital point black comes out you come out black comes out go out again he goes on the side, you extend, he jumps out, and then you Hane. So the shape is much better in the center. Playing just jump uh, leaves this Hane and this peep. But black should really play P6. Yeah, he did. <clears throat> so here, pa, 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 pa. Yeah, it's no longer an option to play this move. Because on the cut, when you push and you try to cut, you put yourself in a tie. So, ouch. Just defend. That's good. Uh, this is a little bit slack. I mean, the idea, it's obvious that uh, Black wants to capture the coin center, but he can do this anytime. And then Atari, and then play this move, and then put pressure. So, you can actually just go Nobi. This is a move that White can ignore. But for White, it's very big to extend on the side, just R10. Because now, Black kind of has eye shape. Of course, if he plays here, and then Atari, he can even go for a snapback. Black doesn't have to worry about eyes. Therefore... It's difficult for white to take those eyes away. But white got more profit this way. This jump is good. The extension on the right side is good too. The thing is, when you extend right away, you don't impact your stones in the middle. I mean, you don't give black uh, moves to uh, weaken the, the center group. So playing like this, black kind of got stronger to, against the other group in the center. The sun is very good. I'm not sure about this move. Better pull back or cross cut. Pull back, uh, black needs to protect, then jump out. This move pushes black ahead. You want to be able to play a move like this and make sure uh, black is uh, locked in so you can build the top. But actually, black is already alive, so it doesn't even matter if he tries to capture two more stones. Better go for big points. If he plays here and then he wants to take two more stones, let him have it and you profit more uh, in the top area where it's open. It's good to keep these kind of stones alive when you still have an attack going on, but here you can just catch one stone. Hmm, that's strange. That's a thank you move. But now he took the stone and that's it. So somehow white created a weak group in the middle that you always need to take care of for the rest of the game. Therefore, you can just treat these stones lightly. So first of all, no need this M9 exchange. And if a cross cut here, for example, then Atari from behind, then push. It's more interesting to uh, get this kind of squeeze. Because in the end, you can profit more in the top. Anyway, Black's groups are safe and alive, but they don't build too many points. <clears throat> but like this, okay, White can hope to put some pressure on uh, H9 later on. So at least that's a little plus. So Atari from the outside, very good. Keep pushing. 
here white got center that's nice but normally white wants to be able to attack the two stones in fact white can just nobi q14 and when black captures just jump in the top and stay safe the territory on the right side is nice for white and now okay that looks like a misclick so this big group in the center is a little bit uh, slack the way to attack the top left corner is to play e16 or e17 that's always the direction you can think about Tsukiya moves but it's really not necessary and also the group in the center is still kind of weak so why should play a one spade jump in the top which obviously black will separate he doesn't want to let white connect to the right then attack the top left with a high approach if black simply defends you are Hane and connect so you already have the extension black extends and then if you want to make sure the left side is not going to be very big you put some pressure here but in the meantime you're looking at these weak stones in the center so that's an easy way because normally white has this right side like 30 points the bottom box at least 15 points then some box in the top 15 to 20 and white can still grow because it's attacking the middle group but black is small everywhere a few points here a few points in the center this is like komi 10 points in the corner another 15 in the other corner so overall white it's way ahead without trying too hard this suke looks a little bit questionable black can connect solid white extends then black can go on a counter attack a move like this to attack the whole uh, dragon in the center this is a uh, black's chance to come back so hanging connection peep extend that's fine this extension it's really small the black focus should be to attack the group in the center let's say he plays some move like this and start building territory while white tries to connect to the left all of a sudden black got this nice territory in the top and white is running on neutral points to save the group this jump mm, a little bit timid the white jumps in the middle but this group still needs help so jump towards the top then extend something like this to make a base and ruin uh, uh, black's potential a jump here obviously black can separate then white needs to go out and again it's a bit tricky left side can be in trouble so black separates like this mm. <clears throat> white jump it's brave but okay it works ah this is a small catch for black only one stone lot of effort here it's not so much uh, damage yeah very good for white to keep center and give up two stones and extend again so white obviously has more territory and there is no way to uh, catch up for black on this cross cut why should just play atari because if black comes out the ladder works so you capture it right away and if you atari from the outside take the stone then he needs to connect the other stone somehow i mean it's not necessary to give him that stone when you can just capture it oops the other atari and if you atari under you take right away then he needs to struggle with the stones in the top somehow it's not going to be too easy because of the dame tsumari in the center so this was a little bit soft just to stay connected and safe i guess yeah push and cut very good so now the dragon it's alive all good now the other group it's safe white played extremely safe here instead of atari it's better just to extend because when black extends you play a peep and then you play some other moves but when you play atari black extends you gotta come back so when you go nobi and he extends you don't need this neutral point you can do whatever you want play here or where else da -da 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 -da. yeah this peep it's interesting then han and connect to create a cut so this was got from a situation where white could be sent yeah that's fine but actually here white can connect this way so on atari connect hane just nobi it's all safe <clears throat> uh, atari can lead to a co-fight but okay black is behind so he can try this call there's nothing to lose anyway fine push through is big atari then hane Ane, Atari under, Atari again, and connect. That's a good sequence for a nice end game. That was good too. Keep the left side safe. Yeah, White is obviously playing ultra safe here. 
could play the descend and everything center. One point block. Okay. This is big. So is this one. Pane and catch. Yeah. So Black finally real realized he's way behind and resigned. Very good win. Quite convincing. But a little bit risky to leave that dragon in the middle uh, for so long. But overall, nice and solid win. Congrats on this one.